Yo. Uh, he goes to medical stuff, chemistry stuff, plumbing stuff. It's hard to say. Uh, yeah, I know I make my own medication and stuff and all this stuff. There's certain things in the U.S. you cannot own without qualification or permit to do so. There's permit by federal, there's a permit by state. Federal I don't care, there's a state. If the state don't care, you could just own it. But then again, there's a county, then the county might care, but the state don't care. And then there's stuff like that. Like, we don't care, but we don't want you to have it. It's legal, but we don't want you to have it. I'm like, these douchebags out here totally skip over the entire discussion, but you know. And they already know ahead of time. So, I'm not discussing. Anyway. Opium, morphine, and stuff like that. The only way you can own that stuff as a non-employee of a business is have a qualification, a degree, and a legit reason doing to use it, and you must have that planned out. I do not use opium because it's addicting, unless I make it. And all this stuff for my pain, it's like oxycodone and stuff. No. It's like cigarettes, nicotine. Tar, cocaine. Back then they used to put cocaine on the cigarettes. Yeah, you guys didn't know that. Ah, little finger. Or Coca-Cola. Or heroin and certain milks. We're not going to discuss that. But you know I make my own medicine. The clove family is garlic, onions, and I forgot those little white and green balls things. They're in that family and some other stuff. Um, and garlic does a chemical called allicine. Which is part of the organic sulfur family and it has a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfide base. If molar mass is 162, we are discussed what molar mass, we have a unit of atom, the amount of energy that weight, and that is molar mass. You see it on my distiller video of making wine, alcohol, and other stuff. So, allicine has a range, it has a um, certain range of activation. It will only activate the moment you break the garlic, and it has a short decay range of, I don't know, 26 hours in 36 calces, or 26 hours in 110 Fahrenheit, it's actually less than that, I don't know, I don't care, 20 different versions, of y'all, but, um, the main thing about that it is, you have a certain time frame to use it. If you put it in the water, it will become very sober. The markers will break down into the water where you have a certain time range. You have to be able to use it, drink it, eat it, whatever. You cook it, you will destroy it easy because it has a boiling pan that's really small. Allicine is used in antibiotics or as a antioxidant or ant antioxidants like those small minerals you see in your bowl of cereals and stuff like that. Stuff like that and freaking eyesight, stomach, freaking antiseptic and stuff like that. Now, yeah, now you know why my onions are raw. Let it sit right in there. You know, whatever. Um there's not many ways you just many ways to make medicine. If you dehydrate it, you would store a huge amount of alcohol, but there's a process you can do it. And you can turn it into powder, put it in a gelatin pill, and you have that. There's um, there's another set of dehydrate you save it for lead and cause by you mix it with other stuff. You can can it in jars as a whole, or you can turn to uh, tinctures and stuff like that. So you know, tinctures is alcohol and that stuff arranging or cooked in a certain way, or you distill it in a certain way, or you freeze it in a certain way, or you go through the um, ducum, duc, ducium, decum, whatever bullcrap process where you. Sit in a vacuum, you suck the bull crap out and you pressurize it or something else. Yeah, whatever. Um, like I said before, you can do so much thing with medical stuff. I hate how people, most medicine today is somewhat artificial. I'm just to say some word because bull crap professors up here before I try to tell me, no, all oh, medicine is artificial. It's like, no, it's not moron. The only way you can get medicine now. It's to go back to the original source. Why you don't see bananas anymore? Usually, hold on. Bananas and sugarcane used to be grown in Africa. They are stink now. Take a hint. Now they are grown mostly in certain part of Ecuador, El Salvador, and South America. Other than sugarcane, grow up in the south. Up here. Yeah, take a hint, people. But like I said, the reason why I brought that up because. Most knowledge is lost and most stuff is gone, but 
the medicine we have today is not all artificial, but most of it is. But it still have a base where they come from the original source itself. Uh, you know, I put, don't put salt on my wound. It hurts. People used to put eyeball on that wound. Trust me, that hurt way worse than salt, you know. Stuff like that. Um, the enzyme and allicin have another state called allicination, which is the process of turning certain stuff right that's in your body into carbon and breaking down and, and helping your body out and insert and it will become unstable in your body when it process out the reason i brought that is as i said the allicine during the allicination process have a short time range if it gets in your body and your body is not absorbed it correct you just ain't call it for nothing or anything with garlic in it or any clothes for nothing so Gross people. We don't. We don't brought that as a medicine, as in you need to. Based on your situation, what could be just how you need to plan and make it to get the most out of it, pretty much.